Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are just arriving at the new Pilot Plus Payware Oxford Kidlington Airport scenery or London Oxford Airport as it's uh, known currently and I'll be taking a look for the very first time at the new scenery released for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 so I hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to hit like and subscribe down below too and more importantly let me know what you think in the comments below as well certainly looks very good from the angle that I'm approaching at at the moment one of the taxiways uh, just off the runway I can see loads of static helicopters and aircraft dotted about too lots of different textures on the buildings as well which is looking really good I noticed on the way in the runway textures and the taxiway textures are looking really nice so all in all early impressions very good uh, but let's have a little closer look as we make our way around. So we're using the Just Flight Piper PA28 Arrow 3 today for Microsoft Flight Simulator as we check this scenery out in the channel livery as well of course. If you want to get your hands on the liveries for the channel then head to our Discord server and you'll be able to download all of them. So I've already noticed a lot of custom textures, custom signs as well on the way through. Loads of models, loads of static aircraft. Now I'm conscious, you know, early indications uh, needs to be in pilot view because this is the view that we're going to be taxiing in at and using as we make our way through the airport. So for me it's, part, it's quite important, it's part of the experience. Of what does it feel and look like from within the aeroplane? Um, and it looks fantastic so far. I mean, we're yet to get close but look at the detail on the hangars couple of uh, peace, uh, police helicopters there. So Kidlington is home to some private aviation and also quite a few very good flying schools for those of you who want to eventually become airline pilots and also the police helicopters as well for the National Police Air Service all based at Kidlington or London Oxford Airport I should say. Textures look absolutely incredible. We're using live weather and it's not long finished uh, raining, so you can see the dampness on, on the tarmac still. Looks like there's some interior textures as well there in the terminal buildings. Let's uh, park up on this little slot here. And take a closer look shall we so looking at the control tower building loads of really nice crisp details across the entire building really glass looks like it's reflecting the light ever so slightly got the barbed wire fence as well and the control tower of course at the top of the building with some see-through glass this looks absolutely fantastic They've put a couple of little promo things on the screens there for their website. So of course they don't only do London, Oxford, or Kidlington Airport as I know it. They also do Southend and Wickham Air Park for Microsoft Flight Simulator and they've got quite a few more in the works as well. So very exciting development team and lots of great projects in store for us. So for those of us who use Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Oh good old Absolute Radio really nice interior inside the tower nothing too crisp and uh, you know, we don't need high def textures in here but we can certainly see and read everything and that in turn will allow us to have performance and they've even modelled in the stairs moving generally across one of the sides of the airports they've even put work in all the way into the distance on the road network surrounding the land side areas as well as the air side areas which is a really nice detail for us to be able to see And they've parked all the cars quite nicely as well. Custom markings all over the roads and the taxiways, the car parks, which is great to see. Nice added touches that we don't often see in some of the bigger development teams for, uh, for the simulators. It's great hangar textures there as well. 
Everything I've seen so far is absolutely incredible. The level of detail, even on the static models here, you can see the, uh, the police helicopters here. Really nice, crisp details. They're not pixelated or particularly low quality that we, like we see on other sceneries. You can taxi past these and they actually look like very detailed models. One thing that I really like is the fact that the airport itself looks quite busy, it feels quite busy. All the vehicles parked nicely in the car park, the textures, everything add to the environment overall of the airport. It makes it an exceptionally nice scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You guys know performance for me is quite a big thing. It's very important for those of us who use the sim, especially myself streaming as well. I, you know, I use a lot of different programs and they've managed to add the lounge areas here, which we, we can see. Really nicely detailed. And they've actually managed to add all of the details in on the various small lounges for the private jet area without sacrificing on performance and having it affect performance quite significantly so they've got some great textures inside some of the buildings and, and you guys can see that here so I've actually come out quite far landside away from the perimeter fence just to show you guys the level of detail that Pilot Plus have managed to get into the airport itself you see all the static models remain very crisp from a distance but also a lot of the detail has gone in on the areas that you wouldn't really necessarily look at a lot of the time in the sim and again there's been no impact from my performance of the air of the simulator whatsoever but it does add to the overall feel and the environment of the airport so when you're looking for something in the simulator that gives you that added realism and the immersion that we all crave because it makes us feel like we're flying for real you get that on the ground here when you're moving about the airfield. The textures, the look and the feel of it, second to none. At night time then, the airport really does come alive again with really crisp, clean, impressive emissive textures actually. They've, they've made extra effort in placing windows, lights, etc. where it all should be by the looks of it and it's very nice. The hangar lights in the distance look incredibly good, uh, I've got to say, with the interior of them shining through as well. I mean, even at night time, everything is so crisp, clean. The lights of the Airbus hangars, for example, and the signage and everything is absolutely incredible. It's so well detailed. I look at the inside of the lounges, that's incredibly good. Even the TV looks realistic from here with BBC News on. Coffee machine lit up as well, you can see the displays lit up for that, and the coffee machine inside the lounge. The lamps have got emissives as well inside the office building. Absolutely incredible what they've done. All the windows, everything's got such nice carefully placed emissive textures to, onto them. All the lights, the signage, exactly what you'd expect them to look like in real life. And it brings the airport to life, even at night time. It makes it look like it's used, it's, uh, it's busy, there's life to it, which in, in a simulator is hard to achieve. But Pilot Plus have done a really good job of this. And yeah, you know, if they can pull off scenery that looks as fantastic as this for London Oxford, then yeah, if they tackle the bigger airports like London Luton or anything else, it's going to smash a lot of the competition out of the water. Overall then, I'm really impressed with this Pilot Plus Oxford scenery. It's uh, one of the nicer pieces of payware scenery that I've seen for the sim, akin to the level of detail that I uh, know and love from Macca Simulations Birmingham and Manchester for example. Pilot Plus are absolutely smashing the level of detail involved in their airports and for a relatively new developer to Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, exceptionally impressed. I can highly, highly recommend this. Everything I've seen so far is really well detailed, crisp textures, amazing emissives as, as you guys saw in the nighttime part of the uh, video and lots of little details all around the airport that really do add to the general feel of it as we're using it it makes the airport feel very immersive very true to life as well and uh, it's one of my favorite payware sceneries for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 most definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, give us a like and be sure to click subscribe as well while you're here. 
If you want to get your hands on the Pilot Plus scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator, London Oxford uh, as we've seen in this video today, or any of the others that they've created, uh, Southend, Wickham Air Park, then check the links in the description, I'll put them all there for you guys. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon for a live stream in the near future.